Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Stellaris, the Vulpine Sovereignty is continuing to expand. We've got little pockets of civilization throughout the southern aspect of this particular galaxy. Uh, our empire spread a little bit, uh, I, don't, I guess thin is the word I'm looking for, but we're going to be focusing on strengthening that this episode. We're not going to be doing too much expansion anymore um, as we continue to focus on what's going on here. And then we'll uh, we'll move on from there and see how things go. There's been a couple of wars happening up north, and we came across another forgotten civilization or fallen empire, or whatever you want to call it, who cherish... Um, they 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 cherish like holy sites and shit, and now we have an alliance invitation from the Val Valdari Empire to join the favorable pact. The Valdari Empire, want me to join the favorable pact? Who is the Valdari Empire? Wait, Val joined? Never mind. It's not an actual invitation. The Valdari Empire joined the favorable pact. Something that I have yet to do, which. I'd like to do, I don't know who is in the favorable pact, and the more people join, the more afraid I am, however. Um, Valdari, huh? Valdari Empire. That's not, that's not it. Is this them right here? They, they're tiny as hell. So I guess they kind of need it. So what we could do is start, like, really pressuring our, our friends over here into wanting to join us. Um, they're a harmonious collective, they're pacifists. See, they're pacifists though, so that's good. They're probably not gonna fight us. They're also- oh, wait, man, we're surrounded by two fucking pacifists. Christ. Alright, well, interesting. Um, we're also gonna want to start keep building our, our fleet up. Our fleet is the big thing that I'm looking to, to really kind of crank up right now. Uh, so we're gonna keep building up some, uh, some fleets here. Maybe a couple more destroyer classes and a couple more R-wings. Really just keep on building and, and pumping minerals into our fleet uh, so that when these guys are ready to go down, we'll be able to fight them. I want to get in here so I can, I can, you know, do some research. I love to get civilian access. I'll give you civilian access. I could give you civilian access, but I don't think you want... Yeah, you don't want to trade me civilian access, which is the problem at all. You're a pacifist. We're friends. But you refuse to give me civilian access. What if I just give you... Like, I can give you research agreement. It's very possible I can give you research agreement. You're... Uh, you're slavery... Uh, you, we probably have slaves. You're, you're a pacifist that has slavery tolerance. That confuses the fuck out of me. How about you guys? What if I give you... We'll offer you a trade deal. And I'll give you... Re I'll give you like a... a 15-year trade deal, and uh, maybe Research that'll help you out. Complete. You guys will love me a lot. Regenerative hull tissue is all done. Now we can get pets. I want to get. I want to get those pets, man. I do. All right. So you must really love me. Now, not enough. Apparently, not enough. I wish you would. I can give you. I'll give you my star charts. And see if maybe that'll help out in letting me. I just want I just want freaking civilian border access, dude. That's all I want. I'm giving you shit. Here, why don't I give you? Why don't I give you just money? Uh, you literally do not want any cash. Like giving you money. We'll do nothing. Okay. Well, that's that. We'll keep on building up. Uh, Corneri has finished their uh, surface building, which is hopefully... Yes, we'll have a pop there soon enough, which is good. Research assistance output. Ethics divergence is good. How's everybody doing here? Like, how are people living? They're non-adaptive, quick learners, talented. Okay, cool. We'll go to Olympia, see how things are going there. We need... Alright, I can't upgrade this apparently. Oh, maybe I can. Not yet, I can't. Oh, we don't have planetary administration. And for this, we need more population on the planet. That's fine. Shambhala. Uh, I can't do anything with you, but you're just living there. We'll switch. We'll switch it up, and I might just build... I guess more minerals is good. 
just drop a mining network down there. We don't need the food. So let's go ahead and just drop the food down. Uh, I mean, the mining network down there. Put you there for to work the food. Um, I want research, basically, is what I'm looking for. But for now, that's going to have to be fine. And then... Everything, yeah, let's get rid, let's clear this out. I'd like you to have some research here. Clear this out, and then maybe we'll move somebody over there. And uh, keep going, all right. I know I, I know I have this tendency of wanting to just spread as quickly as I can, and I probably shouldn't, but I like to. All right, everything's building. We've got 10 destroyers, 24 Corvettes there. Um. Gr ground support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Good shit. Good shit. Everything's looking good. Alright. Mmm. Sorry, sipping my coffee. It's got like, it's like a little, like, a little too sweet for me today. Just, it's taken me a while to kind of suck it down because it's like, it's incredibly sweet. Um, we have a science ship doing nothing. Alright. Let's have you survey here. Here. And then here. That'll send you off and doing your own thing. Uh, you guys just don't want to talk to me at all. We're below you anyway. Uh, Alaska's finished its uh, construction, which was something. I can't remember what it was. Orbital hydroponics we don't really need. We have a spaceport going up here, right? Yeah, we already have a spaceport up here and a military outpost post to protect it. We could drop an observatory, which isn't super useful. However, an observatory on this particular spaceport could be very useful. So we could see more. Going up to a level 2 might be useful as well. But for now, let's drop an observatory down. Or solar... Yeah, let's drop a solar panel network. I think that's more useful for me right now. More cr energy credits is going to be good. We can do stuff with that at some point. Confederacy of Mathon declared war in the Imperial, Imperial Moji Hexagon worlds. So, the Mathon on the Imperial... The Confederacy of Mathon, these guys, uh, declared war on these guys. Who are... Are you guys like... You're ruthless capitalists, so you're just moving in and taking over everything. Where are our current embassies, I wonder? I think we have one over here on the Yalin League. No. Nope. Where are our current ones? We have one here and one here. One here. Okay. These guys are not. So I'm going to recall my embassy from you guys. And maybe we'll look at establishing one with you for now. Research complete. And work on maybe getting to 163. Energy, a few cold fusion reactors, which is good. Cloud lightning is still there. Improved assist research, ion disruptor, and antimatter reactor. More power. Let's see. You're, yeah, let's go ahead and do antimatter reactor with you. If I can get an alliance with the these guys who are growing quickly, at least have an ally to the north while we kind of progress up that way, it could be good. We don't know what's here. Can't really do much with it. I would maybe send my ships in there at some point. And this is what? The Litviak, who is helping research right now because I can't do anything with him. Um, once we clear this out, I can send the science ship out that way, I guess. You still have superior fleet power. Complete. Not a huge deal. Anomaly found. All right. Uh, do not match simulated projections. Yeah, go ahead and research that. We will swing over to Halix real quick and take a look at how our buildings are going. Still building a Corvette. Um, we're building destroyers much faster here. We kill, could build Corvettes back around Corneria, which would probably be smarter than what we're doing. 49, so that'd be 50, 51. One more destroyer should max out our fleet capacity, which is what I want. Having a 51... Uh, Size fleet, I feel like it's pretty nice. How's our, yeah, how's our, uh, our little primitive species doing? Still in a renaissance era. Just watching them from afar. 
and effort. So it's going to cost us five energy credits a month and five social a month. Which is going to slow down all of our social research because we're spending so much time desperately trying to bring these guys into the space age. Which, from the renaissance age, I feel like it's going to take some time. I mean, we have to introduce ourselves and be like, hey, I know, like, you're in a renaissance era and you're thinking about science and how gravity works and shit on your planet, but... We're aliens from a, the great beyond, you know, the people you might have thought of gods at one point. Let me just tell you all about what's happening in space. Like, <laughs> it would take a while. Uh, swirling shadows. Immense ragged planes of shadow drift across Trimus 4A's face. They're cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Long Zhu is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. So I'm assuming we have something great going on here. So that's our zoo that we're trying to make it. Minor mandate. Yeah, alright. Let's just do this research for now. And that's that. Cool, so we got some stuff right. I didn't see what we got because I thought we were going to get a special thing. Han Grand Duchy has declared unidentified empire as their rival. That's fine with me. Let's start upgrading our base ports to level 2. Which is going to be good. The better our spaceports, the better our defenses. And I want this stuff next. I really just want it. We got some gas floaters in here right now. complete. Probably. Shambhala has finished building whatever I had it building. Uh, just keep going with the mining network. Works for me. Corneria is still waiting on a population to pop there. Which takes a while. Just love me. Base minus 50. Harmonious collective means they do not care about us. Collectivist societies where the citizens are devoted to state without the need for coercion. System they tend to keep themselves complete. but are not overseas to trading. Yeah, alright. Okay, mm. that's done. And you guys are the same things. Discovery, Prosper Vault. They will gladly trade for the knowledge they seek but are not above taking it by force if necessary. I gave you a trade deal of... You know... The thing. What is going on over here? Is this like a... I don't know what's happening there. How about you guys? I haven't really talked to you very much. You don't like me very much, but we also don't hate each other. You're unset We're unsettling to you? We're like foxes. We, we look similar to you. There's a little bit of a feline aspect to us. Impressive structures litter Jotham 5 surface, practically begging from some ar for some archaeological work. Please do it. Absolutely. All right. Spaceport at level 2. Whoa! The entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are new wondrous forms of spaceborne life. Quickly nicknamed Space Amoeba, following an analyst's gross misreading of initial sensor output, the creature is in fact larger than the average Vulpin Corvette. We should leave it being remotely monitored the creature and its kin from Corneria. Uh, Situation log right. updated. So, Space Amoeba observation. Let's go ahead and do that. Keep an eye on them. How's things over here? Almost done at spaceport level 2. I don't know if this is going to pop our borders a little bit more. But we'll find out. Construction complete. It does not pop our borders more. Which is a shame. Alright, what else do we want to do? Kinetic weapon damage plus 10. Which we don't have the resources for. Let's pop an observatory down. I want to see if I can maybe grab a planet or two and just see what's in there. And then we can do the same with this spaceport. Jotham 5 is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall uh, cenotaphs carved some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monoliths following lines definitely chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional. Uh, sweet, we gained 350 engineering research. Alright, why don't we drop another solar panel network, and then we will also build up to level 2 momentarily. Okay, more 
unnecessary wars are happening. For scientific folk, we are always at war, it seems. Um, special project complete. All right, the space amoebas, the space amoebas, the nickname now lovingly popularized on Corneria, are solitary animals who left to their own devices, who, uh, when left to their own devices. All but the youngest specimens are accompanied by quasi-independent organism, dubbed flagella, seemingly spawned by the amoeba and programmed through liquid RNA-laced secretions to do the bidding of the host. Initially assumed to be young space amoebas, the flagella do not seem to factor into any uh, reproductive mechanics, each individual flagellum instead operating solely as a disconnected limb for its host amoeba. These flagella are capable of manipulating even attacking objects in an impressive yet restricted range around the host, periodically returning to lodge inside the host amoeba's body for reprogramming. There are potentially mil there are potential military applications of the graceful patterns of the circular uh, circulation apparent of the flagella's movement. So we get a new modifier added. That's neat. All right. Um, we have detected the presence of a primitive. All right. So I don't really give a shit about more primitive species right now. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and build a hydroponics farm here to keep the food growing on there, so we can keep our population growing. Uh, scientist Javier Guerra has leveled up. Very nice. Congratulations, sir. Well deserved. Well deserved. Still, things are going pretty well. And then when that's done, we'll go ahead and upgrade to spaceport level two. Complete. Finish its surface. Can't upgrade anything. Do we have no, yeah, we have a defense and aggressive armies here, which is good. And you're still exploring. System survey complete. Good, good, good. And then when you're done with that, I guess we're gonna move out this way. And survey that system. And we built something there. We're almost at maximum capacity. We want to build another R wing. Can you build a Corvette assembly yard here? We probably should have a, both a destroyer and a Corvette assembly yard here if we're going to use this as kind of a base of operations Incoming in a weird way. Um, trade deal. Penthulin Democratic State. I don't know who you are. Oh, you're way out there. Sure, we'll agree. I don't really know much about you. Your spiritual seekers. Oh, you like us a lot. But you're really far away. So being an ally with you would be interesting. But you gain more information from me more than I gain from you. Since I have a pretty good idea as to what's over here. We're just lacking what is over here. How's our research going? I'm, I'm excited for pets. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I'm very pumped for that. So this is still researching our fortresses, which we could put in deep space. I'm not quite sure what those will be useful for outside of like possible wars. We're equivalent on the Navy size with them now. I, I appreciate that. I just, I, I think I just, because I'm so peaceful and I wanted to play a peaceful race in a weird way, I think I'm just going to keep the Cold War going and just continually out expand them if possible. Question is, I don't know what to do now. I guess more outposts would be good and just grabbing more and more minerals. Like, we need more research, so maybe grabbing, like, putting a frontier outpost here and grabbing this. Construction I guess complete. maybe frontier outpost is the way to go. I don't really need anything out of here outside of stuff. They're also in a renaissance age. We could just try and enlighten these, these species here and bring them into the spacefaring age. So if we grabbed our construction ship, sent it in here, and had it build a frontier outpost. We'll have the construction ship move there. Maybe we'll build a frontier outpost over there. And maybe we'll, we'll take this planet here and try and bring them up. They're xenophobes, but they're pacifists. Weak, quick learners, desert preference. Yeah, maybe we could try and see what happens when we bring these guys out uh, of their age. I think that could be fun. Moreover, we'll get some stuff out of them. Okay, people are still fighting. 
go ahead and drop a Frontier Outpost right here. And we'll see how that ends up going for us. Alright, construction ship, go a little faster. Alright, well, what else can we be doing? I really, I really want to get in here, man. You're killing me, dog. You're killing me. Alright. Let's go ahead and back out. So we'll drop a frontier outpost here, and then we'll make an observation outpost. And then we'll just build all over here. Class 12 asteroid orbits the, this moon. The small planetoid's orbit appears to be appears to far too stable to for its presence to be a natural occurrence. Research it up. Happy to have it. Let's go into our ship builder and see if we can maybe upgrade. That's fine. Faster warp ships. This is our R wing. So if we auto complete, we're gonna have small crystallized infused plating and all kinds of good stuff here. And two cold fusion reactors. Yeah, we'll save those. We'll also go ahead and do the same with here. And then the destroyer we can auto-complete. I don't know if I can upgrade them. I can take this and just go ahead and say, fuck it, upgrade away. The whole fleet should get upgraded in the process. They're going to be doing a lot better. And hopefully our technology will slowly surpass them. This is going to be built. And then I'm excited because we're going to have another complete. primitive species. And we can actually play with them a bit. Studying the fauna of other worlds gives insight to alien behaviors. Allowing us to identify and domesticate docile animals. How thrilling. Monthly influence. Empire capital complex. Advanced government forms. Yes. So, pets. Are there any pets in our, our home system? No. There are pets here. Um, but literally nowhere else. So there's pets right here. They're a strategic resource in some way. But we're not going to have them. For some reason, uh, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Monokadar 3A. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Uh, whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, and these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. Alright, cool. We get a, a, a little bit more energy research, or engineering research, rather. That helps in a weird way. System survey complete. Okay, good. So, pets. I mean, the, there's only one, like, close pet, and I guess it's here. Maybe building, um... Another another station here could be good. But we'll, we'll take care of this one first and then move on. And take care of the other one. We do have another construction ship, don't we? We do. Well, I guess we could build another frontier outpost there. Because that could be fun. And it's, we're, we're eating away at our, at our influence in the process. But I don't know. I kind of want these pets and see what it does. We're going to get a lot of social research, which we really need. Our social uh, society research is very low compared to the rest, which is a shame. And then we can go ahead and upgrade our construction ships once all is said and done. Uh, scientist Peng Gao has leveled up. Congratulations, Peng. Proud of you. Proud of you. And if we can get our borders to expand out this way eventually... I mean, we can drop we can drop our frontier outposts, but I think just burning influence right now isn't necessarily a bad thing. Oh, so we can see because the observation outpost is done. So they have nothing here, which is what I was curious about. But we're pushing into their space and claiming it as our own, I guess. We're about to do the same thing here. We might be able to see what's going over. Eh, I don't think so. It doesn't look like our frontier outpost actually has a sensor range, unfortunately. So we're not going to be able to do much as far as seeing what's on this planet. But I don't think they have much outside of here and here. 
The beacon of infinity. Oh, shit. Wait, we can see this? They have a ring world. Oh, shit. Planetary fortifications. They have a ring world. I don't even... I haven't... You fighting these guys, you... Wow, look at this. How come I can see this? Holy shit, man. They're not very happy, but they don't care. Ring world. Oh, man. Maybe we'll one day take that. Can I see what theirs is then? No, but I can see theirs, and I don't know why. That's crazy. Ring worlds. Oh, fighting these guys are going to be difficult, if not near impossible for me. At some point. Okay, people are still having their crazy fucking wars. Oh! Scientist Orietta Quadrini has died. Rip in pieces, Orietta. You've done us a great uh, many things in the past. We'll give you... Is it... What one do we really need? This is Physics. I don't know if any of you have really physics-based stuff, so we'll just grab our youngest one. Slap you in there. We can move him around at some point. Alright. Deaths are gonna be happening. <laughs> Left and right. It's bound to happen. Um, election. Let's see. Esteban Mendez. Man, we're actually gonna have a lot of uh, people really vying for it now that Mathis has died. Mathis kind of had it. Where, did he die? I don't know if he died, but he's definitely not around anymore. Wherever he decided to disappear off to. Almost done building our first one. And then we're going to have some fun with these races. I don't know if we're going to do anything with these guys. We might just let them come to the space age on their own time. And then they'll be like, oh, shit. Like, yeah, sorry, man. I was here a while ago. I know it's mine now. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Anomaly It'll be found. Whoop. Efforts to map the surface of this moon have identified a strange mountain formation in the southern hemisphere. It does not appear to have formed naturally. Right, it'll be fun to play like uh, an enslavement race later where I just like find primitive species and I just invade them and, and enslave them. Like, sorry guys, and, you know, do what we want to do here. Uh, Peng Gao has been elected president. That's... That was one of our science ships, wasn't it? No? Oh. It was one of you. Well, Erica Carlisle, sorry you did not end up doing a great job there. Um, how about I remove you out? I'd like to get rid of you. Change the leader. No? Can't? All right, well... It is what it is. I don't know why I can't just click on this. I'm sure there's a way to change the leader and I'm just being stupid, but I just can't figure it out. All right, let's take you and upgrade you to a level three spaceport. Uh, complete this construction frontier outpost. Okay, good. So we've got ourselves a frontier outpost here. Almost took this. Can't. Um, let's have you build just mining stations all. Let's build the observ. What do we want? The observation outpost first? No. We're going to go ahead and build the mining. Let's build the research station. Then build the mining ones next. So, take care of this. Get our extra research. And then we'll hit mining stations. And then after, we'll build an observation outpost. What was previously thought to be uh, assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere of Naranka 5A have been identified as the massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien life form. The bones have been dated by 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that Naranka 5A could have supported life on that scale at any point in the moon's history. Science officer Long Zuj has prepared a special research to delve further into this mystery. So a giant skeleton Situation that could not updated. have lived there is there. Okay. That's really, really cool. So... Let's research it. That's neat. I want to know. Why is there a giant skeletal life form on a planet that couldn't have supported life back then? It intrigued me. 
I hope these guys aren't mad. Pokeball Empire is just going to have... You know, we're just pressing in on all sides here. Poor guy. I don't know if I give too much of a shit. I'm just pretending to give a shit. Frontier Outpost. I just want this research big time. Confederacy Mathon has declared. I mean, this is fucking crazy war happening up here. And it seems to be him to be the aggressor. Uh, I would dearly like to visit Corneria someday. Is it because you are in a war right now and you want out? You're, yeah, I mean, you do what you gotta do, boo. I feel like you may or may not be slightly boned, but it is what it is. Are we gonna get this as well? I wonder. How's this going? Almost done? Not really. Well, this actually might be almost... No, I think this is building of something else. Uh, research station. Okay, good. So we've got extra research flowing in now, which is awesome. Um, we'll continue to build... You guys are still upgrading, huh? Shit. It's... Man, upgrading you is gonna take a long-ass time. However... Construction Two more complete. R wings. I didn't realize how long it was going to take. But it's worth it. As long as they don't decide to attack us, we're fine. I don't think they're gonna. I Special really think they're not gonna complete. now. After continued studies of the massive skeletal remains found on Naranka 5A, uh, science officer Long Zuj has concluded that the creature served as some kind of organic starship. Much smaller bones from at least three separate species were found within the larger skeleton, and we assume these came from members of the crew. For unknown reasons, this organic starship suffered catastrophic damage and crash landed on Naranka 5. While we cannot begin to understand the biological engineering necessary to grow a starship like this, the study of these bones have, all alone have substantially advanced our knowledge. And he gains 200 experience. Very nice. Good find. Good find indeed. Proud of you. Good job. You're gonna be almost done-ish, and then you go here, here. Very, very mineral rich right now. So what do we build? Do we build like a a, a research station over this to get to get this? Because if I have to choose one or the other, I'm gonna choose the alien pets, even though the logical choice is probably the society research. It's because it's new and exciting. I wanna know what these alien pets are all about, man. What can we do with them? All right, let's see. Mining station's done. Aha! Oh, it connected us completely. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, all we need is a research station. It connected us all the way around. Wow. Okay. That was actually a really good grab. So our space is slowly being connected. Sweet. Good job. And this is in our territory. Like, this is in our territory now, and this is in our territory now. We can actually just go nuts and grab all of this stuff. The expansion of the Vulpine Sovereignty knows no bounds. Fuck yeah. Oh, I thought that was, thought I was paused for a minute. All right, let's take a look at Corneria. Corneria is fully filled up. How about Shambhala? We filled up on Shambhala now? We are. We're down minus one food for here. So let's grab... Actually, I'm, let's take a look. Can I... Shambhala, there it is. If I take this and build... No, I have no spare spots. So, uh, Shambhala is down a food. We can actually just build a hyd one single hydroponic farm and we'll, be, we'll cover the food. Upgrade this. Actually, you know what? No, cancel it there. Build it here. So that here I can actually just go ahead and build a research center, a science lab. We'll cover the food that we need and we'll have more research coming and flowing out of uh, our Gaia world, which is going nicely. All right, these guys are still building. Oh, and paused. Surprised it didn't give me a warning that, like, Shambhala has less food than it needs right now. 
put you there. Uh, I'm gonna put you... Well, how much food do we have? Spare four? Let's put you here, then. Alright, the first fleet is done. We have three spare food, which means we could remove this. And put something else in its place, and we would be fine. Which would be the smart bet. Now, thinking more research would be good. Yeah. We just want to- we want to make sure we're, we're just, like, have just enough food. We don't need any more spare food. So now I have an, an actual resource here. Also, I clicked on this and all of a sudden this popped up. I didn't realize I could do that. So we have a spare, like, strategic resource. I don't know what that's going to do for us. But it's exciting. Let's just go ahead and build mining stations all across. And take care of what we need. And do we have our observation post over here? We received communique. Alright. Uh, first contact with the interstellar Cafed commonality. Greetings from the interstellar Cafed commonality. We are a democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedom of our systems. Blah, blah, blah. Same shit as always. Where are they? Way over there. Alright, that doesn't help us at all. Okay. Haven't built a research out. Up. Oh. A research station built in orbit. Thank you. No, we haven't built it here yet. All right. Cool. Done. Maybe we want to do it over here now that, that we have like all of this over here. Maybe we want to mess with these guys and raise them over here. We're going to lose money that way, but let's do it. It caught an orbit. It's zero month. It's not working. Fuck it. We need more money, I think. <laughs> we tried to make contact and we're like, oh, never mind. We're just your gods. Ooh, we're, we're spooky gods. And then we disappear and we're like, we'll come back later. As per President Pengao's mandate, additional mining stations have been construction constructed. Hey, we actually finished a mandate and got uh, a bunch of influence for it, which is awesome. Once this is done, we'll have more influence as well. Very exciting shit. And then we'll build research stations afterward. All right. Ships upgraded. Hey, ships have been upgraded. Thank God. We have a construction ship over here now. Why don't we just come over here, build mining stations. So that's done. And then we can come over here and do the same. We'll worry about that after, but we'll, we'll definitely do it. And where is our science ship? I forgot about you. No, there's baddies over there. Don't go over there. Can you go over here? You can. All right, cool. All right, we're going to pause the episode here. As we continue to spread our Vulpine Sovereignty. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, let me know in the comment section below. And by hitting that like button. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.